Good evening. You're watching the main news on HKIBC. I'm Sarah Wong. Our top stories tonight. Hong Kong's COVID cases hit three digits for the fourth day in a row. Former lawmaker Lam Chek Cheng is jailed for four months for revealing an ICAC probe. And two senior officials at a scandal-hit childcare home have resigned. Health authorities are racing to trace the source of transmission of seven local COVID cases registered today. They are among 100 new local infections, most of which were in Kwai Chong Estate. Macy Mock has the latest. Hong Kong recorded 107 COVID cases today, 100 of them locally transmitted. Seven of the local infections have untraceable sources. Two of the patients work at the airport. One is a 67-year-old woman who cleans toilets, and the other a 37-year-old female security worker at Cathay Pacific City. A 40-year-old man who lives in Wu Kai Sha village is also among those whose source of infection is unknown. Another is a 47-year-old man who lives next to a Victoria Avenue construction site which had seen nine previously confirmed cases. Of the infections with known sources, more than half, or 58, were in the sprawling Kwai Chung estate cluster. The estate now has 334 confirmed and preliminary infections, yet Kwai House and 45 new cases, while Ying Kwai House had eight. Elsewhere, more residents from Block 1 of Tropicana Gardens in Wong Tai Sin were evacuated. That's after a person living in Unit F was found with COVID, joining several cases living in Units E on different floors. Authorities believe the virus was spread through the building's light well. A security guard at Choi Wen Estate is also among today's locally transmitted cases. He is related to an earlier case in Tropicana Gardens. The security guard dined frequently at the Lions Rice Mall in Wong Tai Sin, where an earlier patient had been to repair lifts. Maisie Mock, HKIBC. There was bad news for about 2,000 residents at Kwai Chong Estate after they were asked to serve two more days of mandatory lockdown. All residents of Ying Kwai House cannot leave home until Saturday. The block was originally sealed off for five days until tomorrow. The extension came after the building saw another eight infections today for a total of 71. An overnight lockdown in Chou Kwan Wan has led to the discovery of two preliminary positive cases after 190 people were tested. This comes amid fears of cross-infection when residents of lockdown buildings gather in enclosed areas such as a lift. Maisie Mock has more. An ambulance took away two people who tested preliminary positive during an overnight lockdown in Chou Kwan Wan. They were among 190 residents who had to undergo testing after a person living in 21235 Hong Kong Street was confirmed to be infected with a mutant COVID strain. In Kwai Chung Estate, where three blocks have been sealed off for five days or more, there are fears of cross-infection. This resident of Pak Kwai House, which is not locked down, said there's a risk when large numbers of people wait in line to get tested. Fears rose after security camera footage from Yak Kwai House showed three people in hazmat suits and a person who allegedly contracted COVID going down a lift. The elevator was not disinfected before another resident got in. Speaking on a radio show today, Wilson Lam, vice president of the Hong Kong Society for Infectious Disease, said the COVID situation in Hong Kong is of great concern. He did not rule out a risk of cross-infection when people under lockdown are in enclosed areas such as a lift. Lam suggested that they wear two masks 
for better protection against infection. Maisie Mock, HKIBC. The mainland locked 24 local COVID cases yesterday as the outbreak continued to grow in Beijing. Nine of the capital's 14 new patients were in Fengtai District, where a Delta cluster stemming from a cold chain storage facility expanded. Two million residents in a southwestern neighborhood were tested ahead of the Winter Olympics next Friday. But testing rules for athletes were eased slightly, while those who test positive can still take part if results in two subsequent tests are negative. Close contacts will be quarantined for seven days instead of 14. Locally, Former opposition lawmaker Lam Chek Ting has been jailed for four months for disclosing an ICAC investigation into a police superintendent. The officer, who was on duty during the Yunlong Station mob attack three years ago, had been assigned to investigate the incident. Chloe Feng reports. A prison van took former Democratic Party legislator Lan Chuk Ting to Eastern Court this morning to hear the verdict on three counts of disclosing the identity of a police officer being investigated by the ICAC. Lam was found guilty and sentenced to four months in jail. He had been accused of disclosing that the anti-corruption watchdog had launched a misconduct investigation into Superintendent Yao Nai Kim in connection with the Yuanlong MTR mob attack on July the 21st, 2019, two days after the rampage. Speaking on the night of the attack, Yao had said there were no signs of criminal activity. During three press conferences in the following months, the former lawmaker accused police of lying and delaying an investigation into the attack in which at least 45 people were injured. Prosecutors said Lam broke a law forbidding the disclosure of corruption probes. During his trial last month, Lam denied the charges. He said the disclosures were in the public interest and that it was absurd to allow Yao to lead an investigation into the mob attack when his integrity was under scrutiny. Principal ICAC investigator Martin Lee testified that he told Lam not to reveal details after inviting him to assist in the inquiry, saying doing so would hurt the agency's probe. In passing sentence, Magistrate Jackie Eve said Lam had breached the law by revealing an ICAC investigation and by doing so had alerted Yao that he was being investigated. Eve added that Lam's revelations could not be justified as they were not of significant public interest. Lam was granted bail of $5,000 to appeal against his conviction and sentence but he will remain in custody for alleged national security offenses. Chloe Fong, HKIBC. Two senior executives have resigned following a child abuse scandal at a foster home in Mong Kok. 20 employees of the children's residential home were arrested after allegations that 35 toddlers were maltreated. Here's Chloe Fong again. I don't know. Both personally and on behalf of the society, I wholeheartedly apologize for our failures. I am particularly sorry for the children in our care and for our service users and supporters of the society whose confidence in us may have been shaken. The Society for the Protection of Children said its director, Susan Choi, and the superintendent of the children's residential home, Shirley Choi, have resigned. An independent review committee which investigated the scandal in which 35 children were abused released its preliminary report today. Committee chairman Lester Huang said the whole organization, including the management team, needed to realize the seriousness of the incidents and take responsibility for them. 20 employees of the home have been arrested while seven others resigned. There are currently 34 staff taking care of 61 children, but the employees will be replaced gradually. 
Hammond said psychologists and social workers are helping to improve training for staff, as well as counseling the children and their parents. We shall work hard to earn the community's confidence. We expect this work to take some months to complete, but will share progress as appropriate with the social welfare department. Hammond added that the society is monitoring staff behavior through closed circuit TV footage. Chloe Fong, HKIBC. The head of Beijing's liaison office has urged Hong Kong to build on the momentum from the recent electoral reforms and achieve good governance. In his Lunar New Year address, Luo Huining said acts of complacency or dodging responsibility will only stifle the spirit to fight and the courage to reform. He also reassured that the SAR has a promising future and the key lies in the city's ability to integrate into the overall development of the country. Law said one country, two systems is at a new historical starting point, while attempts by anti-China forces and local saboteurs to disrupt Hong Kong are doomed to fail. And coming up after the break. Washington steps up warnings against Russia over Ukraine.